In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your development workflow for a fast feedback loop so that testing your changes on a smartphone is as easy and fast as pressing play in the Unity editor. Hey folks, my name is Jason, and this video is part of a tutorial series on how to make an augmented reality game from scratch. From initial idea to shipped production app in the App Store. So if you're looking to get started building AR apps, and you don't quite know what the best resources would be, or if you're searching for a comprehensive course to learn AR development, then this video series is for you. So to set up your workflow for augmented reality development in Unity, let's outline what we want to achieve. Number one, we want to create an AR project in less than a minute. So basically we want to click a button and have everything ready to go. And number two, we want to test our code changes by pressing play in the Unity editor. We want to avoid having to rebuild our project and redeploy to our smartphone just to test out code changes. So perhaps to start, let's start with the first requirement. Take your smartphone and the cable that connects it to your laptop or computer and connect it to your computer because we'll be using this device for testing. Then we can finally create a new Unity project. So here we can open up Unity Hub and create a new project there. I'm using Unity 2020.3, and for best results, you should follow along with the same Unity versions. But if not, you should be aware that the contents of this tutorial might differ slightly from your own setup. So for initial setup, you'll need to install a bunch of packages. AR Foundation, XR Plugin Management, AR Core XR Plugin, and also AR Kit XR Plugin. So let's go ahead and install them. Here I'm just grabbing the latest version of each package. And it seems that installing AR Foundation installs XR Plugin Management by default. Once you're done installing all the packages, you want to go to the Asset Store and install this plugin called AR Foundation Editor Remote, because it's the thing that allows us to set up a fast workflow between the editor and your phone. Yes, it's worth a small amount of money at 80 bucks as of this recording, but I think it's well worth it in terms of the time saved on your project. So once you've purchased the AR Foundation Editor Remote Asset, go ahead to the Package Manager and go to the assets you've already purchased, and simply import the files for AR Foundation Editor Remote. With all the required packages installed, we'll need to do some extra configuration. So the first thing is to switch your platform to your desired end platform. In my case, I have an iPhone, so I'll switch to iOS. And of course, if you're using Android, let me know in the comments below if you'd like a video on how to do the equivalent setup for Android. With your platform properly configured, open up your project settings and make two small changes so your AR is configured properly. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your player settings in the project settings. And you want to go to where it says requires AR kit support. So if you scroll down a little bit, and just find where that checkbox is and simply toggle it on. The second thing you want to do is toggle providers in XR plugin management. So go over to that tab. So basically toggle one provider for each of iOS and PC. Toggle one for iOS, in this case, ARKit. And the second thing you want to do is toggle the AR Foundation Editor Remote Provider for PC as well. So here you can see I actually don't have that option shown. That is because I haven't installed the plugin yet. So we'd have to install the plugin first. If you go over to the plugin folder for AR Foundation Editor Remote and click on the installer file, that'll install the plugin automatically for us. So going back to the project settings, uh, you'll now see that option listed and you can just check that to enable the provider. 
then what we want to do is embed the AR Foundation package. This is kind of a quirk of how AR Foundation Remote works, but it basically copies AR Foundation into your packages folder so that when you start your Unity project, it doesn't take forever to start. So you do that by simply clicking the Embed AR Foundation Package button under the installer file. With the AR Foundation Editor package installed, we can build the AR Companion Xcode project, which is the app you'll need to install on your phone for testing. So go ahead and do that by clicking on this button. And once the project is built, Unity will open up Xcode for you. Inside Xcode, we'll need to do some additional setup. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the left tab and click on the Unity iPhone label so that you can see a bunch of settings. Within this tab, we'll need to configure some settings first before building to our iPhone. So maybe to start, I want to update my display name so it's easier to find on my phone. Maybe we can call this YouTube AR Companion Test Project. Some other things we want to do are update the Signing and Capabilities tab. So this is important, otherwise your project won't build. We want to check the Automatically Manage Signing button. And we'll also want to choose a team so that Xcode stops complaining. Finally, once all is said and done, you've updated your Signing and Capabilities settings, you can go ahead and deploy this app to your device. So make sure your smartphone is connected through your USB cable, and that should show that device in this list of devices on top. And once you have that confirmed, go ahead and click the play button to actually deploy the app. And if everything works out, you should be able to see this screen on your phone. If you see a black screen, you might need to toggle the Trust This Developer checkbox as specified in this Stack Overflow answer. And if you're still encountering errors, let me know in the comments below and I can reply and help out. Now that we have AR Foundation Editor Remote set up and the app installed on our device, we can test out one of the example scenes that came with AR Foundation Editor Remote. So to actually get that running, the first thing you'll want to do is update your plugin settings so that your IP address is specified. So go over to the Installer Asset, click on the Open Plugin Settings button, and in your iPhone, you want to copy over the IP address. The easiest way I've found to do this is to set your phone to airplane mode so that only one IP address shows up in the app. So once you see that one IP address, Go ahead and copy it into this text field. And you are all set as far as settings go. So the next thing you want to do is go over to the sample scenes provided by AR Foundation Remote. At least in this version, it's under Scenes, and Examples, and Anchors Example. Once that is opened up, you want to ensure that the AR Companion app is also open on your smartphone. You want to go over to your Game tab, Maybe choose an aspect ratio that matches your phone. In my case, I have an iPhone. And you can go ahead and click Play. And as you can see, everything seems to be working really well. Uh, the app can detect points. It can detect planes. And you can see that I'm currently recording this video, uh, which is pretty funny. And if that all worked out, Pat yourself on the back because you are completely set up for AR development. You can make changes in the Unity editor or your code. Simply press play and preview your changes on your device. And if you wanted to test a room scale experience, you could detach your phone and stream the video using Wi-Fi. But for development, I'm typically sitting in front of my computer table, so I'll just leave my USB cable connected. So let's do a recap of what we've learned. Our first goal was to set up this AR project in less than a minute. It probably took longer than a minute to set up this Unity project, but because you've now created this project, you could store it in version control, or you could simply use it as a reference project that you copy for future projects that you have. Our second requirement was to test code changes by pressing play in the Unity editor, whereas previously, we had to build the Xcode project and deploy to our device every time we wanted to see the results of our code changes. Now, because of this awesome plugin called AR Foundation Remote, all we need to do is press play in the Unity editor when our phone is attached. And because this workflow is so fast, you know, all you need to do is press play in the editor. This makes rapid prototyping of AR ideas far more feasible. And that wraps up this video. Thanks so much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you're interested in these types of AR tutorial videos. All right, until next time.